Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And welcome to Eastern Wyoming. Better yet, we're right along the South Dakota border. We pulled off Interstate 90 here to check out something really, really interesting so far as history goes. We're on our way to Devil's Tower. It's a place called the Vore Buffalo Jump. You may be saying, well, what in the world is that? Well, I'm going to show you. Back hundreds, thousands of years ago, Native Americans, of course, lived all across this region. And in order to survive, they, of course, had to hunt buffalo. It, it provided them with food, it provided them with hides, it could be made into uh, various uh, pieces of clothing and things to keep them warm. They made very good use of the buffalo. This is called the Vor Buffalo Jump Area. And this is where the Indians, the Native Americans that is, would herd the buffalo to the edge here. Then the buffalo had no choice but to go down into this small cavern. Now there's a state maintenance building that is built there over that site. But down below is where hundreds upon thousands of buffalo met their demise. Again though, it was done for survival because these were harsh conditions here in this portion of Wyoming and South Dakota. If you've ever seen the movie Dances with Wolves, historians will tell you it's pretty close to being accurate. Tough times out here and the buffalo was certainly needed for the Native American survival here in this part of the world. So if you get a chance, stop off here at the Vore Buffalo Jump area, just off Interstate 90 on your way to Devil's Tower. It'll be worth the visit, give you a time of reflection as to how our Native Americans survive these very, very harsh conditions in this part of the world. In the meantime, keep subscribing to our channel. That's Traveling with Jack and Pam. I also invite you to check out my podcast, Love Letters to Pam, The Jack Church Show. Until we see you next time, have a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from Eastern Wyoming.